Thanks, Sarah. The Spectrum conducted a survey of 195 UB students to see what they knew about Ebola. According to the Center for Disease Control, Ebola can only be contracted through direct contact with bodily fluids, not through food, air, or water. However, 11% of the responders thought you could get Ebola through the air, 25% said you could get it through water, and 21% said you can get Ebola through food. 94% of responders did correctly believe that you can get Ebola through direct contact with bodily fluids. Although the Center for Disease Control is encouraging Americans to not be too concerned about Ebola spreading in the U.S. the way it has in West Africa, 57% of responders are worried about the spread of Ebola in the U.S. Ebola was discovered in 1979, and since its discovery, there have been about 9,000 confirmed cases and 5,000 confirmed deaths from Ebola. Earlier this week, we surveyed a couple students around campus to see what they knew and were concerned about with Ebola. Um, now that a second nurse has been diagnosed with Ebola in the U.S., are you concerned about it spreading to more people? Yeah, a little bit now that someone that should be, you know, helping to prevent Ebola has now gotten is kind of, you know, a little scary to think about. Do you know how it's transferred from person to person? I'm pretty sure it's through, like, bodily fluids and stuff, you know. Like, there was that one guy that threw up outside a hotel and everyone was, like, freaking out that the people got exposed, so, you know. If you were going to study abroad this winter, would you be a little more concerned about it? Yeah, probably just because, you know, it came from somewhere else. And, you know, now that it's spreading all over like, more areas, it's like, I don't know where it is now. Now that it, it originated from one place, it's probably like, all over. So um, Now that the second nurse in Dallas has been diagnosed with Ebola, are you concerned about it spreading to more people? I'm really not. I mean, it's been here for probably three plus weeks, and two people in our country have it out of millions and millions and people are calling it an epidemic and I think it's under control but I think people are taking it a little too seriously. Do you know how you contract it? Through bodily fluids. And if you were going to study abroad this winter would you be a little more concerned? No. Alright so do you guys know how Ebola is contracted from person to person? Uh, I believe it's contracted through bodily fluids. Bodily fluids? No idea. No clue. No clue. No and uh, now that a second nurse in Dallas has been diagnosed with Ebola, are you guys concerned about it spreading? Uh, not particularly, just because I feel like that nurse will be quarantined and like kept under very close watch so she doesn't spread, keep, like, spread it to anybody else. How about you? The CDC's got it under control, for sure. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be a big factor. I'm sure, like he said, they'll quarantine it and keep it under control. And if you guys were going to study abroad this winter, are you, would you be a little more concerned about traveling? I mean, only if I went to, like, Africa or someplace that it was, like, a big problem. Mm -hmm. So, not really. Um, probably not. I mean, there's always a risk with life, but I mean... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, life is a risk. Life is risky. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really be too concerned either. I mean, it really depends on where you go, but... I mean, you just got to watch your back and be fine. All right. Thank you, guys.